Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm so excited to be doing a collab, which is going to be two looks with my Pen That Palette for 2021, the Natasha Denona Lila Palette. A few months ago, Dion from Dion Loves Makeup here on YouTube reached out after she saw my choice for my Pen That Palette for 2021, the Lila Palette. And as a huge fan of Natasha Denona, and specifically the Lila Palette, but as someone who hasn't used it as much, she reached out and wanted to do a collab where we basically choose four shades each, and then we each do our own interpretation of a look of those four shades. I was so happy when she reached out. She has a small channel here on YouTube, so make sure you guys go check her out. I'll have her linked in the cards as well as in the description box and the pinned comment down below. We each picked four shades. Basically, we made quads out of the shades that we picked, and I actually had to look up a reference picture, which I will pop up as I talk about the, the actual shade names, because I've rearranged my palette. If you haven't seen my Pan That Palette series, you'll not know that I, I really rearranged them, and I didn't I probably should have labeled each shade. So I've got a reference picture up. Dion chose the shades Viola, Amethyst, Nude Vino, and Juno. And they're in this quad right here. How pretty. <laughs> that was a very stunning quad. And then I chose the shades Per Se, Livid, Magnolia, and Dragon Bite. And those are in... I put them back into my palette here. So I chose This is Per Se... This one is Magnolia, the gold shade. Livid is this dark purple. And then Dragon Bite is this kind of duochromy shade right here. Yes, I picked it out right. <laughs> So first, I'm going to use the quad that Dion picked out, and I'm going to do a talk through kind of look with it. I don't have my face makeup on because throughout my experience with this palette, I've realized that the looks that I do where I'm really heavy in blending and everything, I get a lot of fallout, and the fallout can sometimes stain. So I like to do my eyes first, and then go back and do the rest of my makeup, and then do my lower lash line. So we're going to do this first, and I'm going to talk through this one, and then the shades that I picked out, I actually already filmed the look really quickly, and I'm just going to have music over that look. Okay, so to start out, I'm going to take the first shade right here, the the one matte in this shade, and I'm just going to blow that out into my crease. And also transition. Because what I have in mind, um, I really, I did a really nice look with some different shades from another palette, but the general idea was um, a neutral kind of all up in the crease and through the transition, and then like kind of keeping the color all the way out here and blending it in, and it looked really pretty, and I'm going to try and do something similar, but with these shades. So I'm going to take this all the way in, and then up, probably like up to almost my brow bone. And I hope you guys can't hear it. We're actually getting a huge like rainstorm right now. So if you hear any thunder or rain or cars, apologies. So technically, I wouldn't really need to use a card since I don't have my base makeup on and I could just clean it up with a makeup wipe, but I'm gonna go with the card anyway, just to see how it turns out. And I'm going to take our two dark shades, so this dark purple and this deep blue purple, blurple if you will, and build them up using the card. So I'm gonna take that lighter purple shade first and really build it up. This is again why I am uh, going in without my full base makeup on because this is definitely gonna give me some fallout and it's gonna stain. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Okay. So then I'm going to take that darker shade. I'm going to take a little bit of a smaller brush this time with the darkest shade. And unlike the purple, pink purple, where I brought it all the way in here and all the way up here, I'm going to try and keep it like right here. And I'm going to take the first brush that I used without any extra product and just blend everything together like that. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. All right, so I just cleaned up the fallout because even while using the card, I still did get some fallout and it's looking cute. So now I'm going to take my tried and true favorite glitter glue. Yes, I did mean for that to rhyme. And I'm going to go in with the very lightest shade and just put that all over the lid. Okay, it's coming along really nice. I like how it looks so far. So now that we're done with most of like the heavy lifting as it is, um, I'm gonna do my base, the rest of my face, and then we'll come back to finish up the lower lash line. So the rest of my face is now done. We're just gonna finish up the lower lash line. And I'm just gonna take a little dense, 
what a little tiny brush like this and I'm gonna start with the darkest shade the way I like to do my lower lash line is starting with the darkest shade out here and then like blending it out so we kind of get the same kind of effect we had here in the like outer third area so I'm gonna take the darkest shade blend that here All right, and once I have that shade, I'm gonna go with the second darkest shade that we used, the nice bright purple magenta. And now that the color is placed, I'm gonna to switch to a fluffier kind of brush and blend it out. Okay, and this is our final look using the four shades that Dion picked out. And I think it is so, so cute. Let me zoom you in. I just think these shades work so well together. And it just gives me like just exactly the look I was going for. I think this also would have been really pretty as like a halo eye. But I did a halo eye for the other look, so I didn't want to do the same thing twice. I'm really happy with how this came out and I think Dion picked some amazing shades. Like honestly, if this was a quad, would you not want to buy it? It's just really well curated and looks really nice. So thank you for picking these shades out. Let's go ahead and now jump into the look I did the four shades that I picked out. So that's the look that I picked out. I actually sneak peeked this on my Instagram because honestly, I think that was like the best halo eye I've ever done. It looked really, really pretty. <laughs> So thank you so much, Dion, for collabing with me. This got me, like, it got the creative juices flowing. I had a lot of fun, and I got some really great looks out of it. So thank you for taking the time to collab with me. 
Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out Dion's channel linked down below and in the cards. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.